Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I have a really exciting video for you guys. I have a MAC collection video. This is all of my MAC products that I have collected over, I don't know, the past six, seven, eight months that I've been collecting MAC. Um, so I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys. This has been requested a lot, um, but it was specifically requested by I Love Makeup 77. I'm going to put a link to her channel down there. She makes videos as well. She specifically requested for me to do just an overview of everything um, MAC that I own. And I thought it was a really good idea, so I'm really excited to do this. Now before I get to the video, I want to put some caution signs up on this video. I know that there are a lot of haters out there who hate on people when they do collection videos like this because they think it's bragging or whatever. I just want to warn you guys, I'm not trying to brag. This was specifically requested for me to do. And I want wanted to do this kind of video because personally I love watching collection videos. I love seeing what other people have in their collection. That way it gives me ideas on things that maybe I should get for my collection. And it also just helps in knowing what that person is going to be using in future videos and stuff. So I am doing this video for my subscribers because they have asked for it and I think it's an interesting video to watch from other people. So just want to put that warning up there just in case you guys don't like these kinds of videos or you think you're going to take it in a bad way, please just X out up there or up there, wherever your X is. Just X out of it, no harsh feelings, but this is just for people who actually want to see this kind of video. And another thing I want to put caution signs up about is um, when I'm going over the products, the lighting is not the greatest, so you're not actually going to be seeing a lot of the products true to color, and I apologize for that, but I had to cope with using my webcam and sort of positioning the camera so that you could see the products and stuff. Um, like I said, I still don't have a portable camcorder that I can just like take around my room. So as of now, I'm just trying to cope with it, cope with not having a portable camera and just trying to deal with the webcam that I have. So yeah, that is all of the precautions that I have to say before we get on to the video. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to be going over all of my eye products. This includes eyeshadows, eyeliners, pigments, paint pots, etc, etc. So let's get to it. Okay, so these are all of my eyeshadows that are more in the neutral category, sort of my brown single eyeshadows. So starting here, we have Brulee. Honey Lust, Woodwinked, Mulch, Satin Taupe, All That Glitters, and Espresso. Okay, these are all of my single permanent eyeshadows that are more colorful. So starting here we have Swish, Paradisco, Cranberry, Winkle, Goldmine, Club, Sketch, Deep Truth, and Black Tide. These three eyeshadows are from the Dare to Wear collection. Starting here we have Going Bananas, Sassy Grass, and Atlantic Blue. These five eyeshadows are from the To the Beach collection. Starting here we have Humid, Shimmer Moss, Firecracker, Sweet and Punchy, and Sand and Sun. These two here, Shimmer Moss and Humid, are actually permanent shades, but I just included this in this part of the video because they are in special packaging. These five eyeshadows are from the Give Me Liberty of London collection. Starting here we have Birds and Berries, Bow Gray, Dame's Desire, Free to Be, and Give Me Liberty of London. The only shade in this set that is permanent is this one right here, Free to Be. These are my two mineralized eyeshadow trios. Starting here we have In the Groove, and blew my mind. Both of these are from the In the Groove collection. These are my two pre-made eyeshadow quads. Both of these are from the Spring Color Forecast collection. Starting here we have Color 3 and Color 4. Color 3 is a purple quad and Color 4 is a neutral quad. These are my only two paint pots. This one here is Coral Crepe and this one is Rubenesque. Rubenesque is a permanent paint pot, and Coral Crepe was from the pret a Papier collection. These are my two grease paint sticks. These were promoted in the Art Supplies collection. The one on the bottom is called Green Grease, and the taupey one on the top is called Dirty. 
I've got one technical liner in graph black. This is from the permanent line. I've got one feline coal power eye pencil. This is limited edition. I've got two eye coals. These are both in special packaging for the To the Beach collection. The top one is called Float on By, and the bottom one is called Rosemary and Time. The green one, Rosemary and Time, is also in the permanent line. These are three of the Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliners that were promoted in the Art Supplies collection. From top to bottom, we have Petrol Blue, Industrial, and Black Line. Here are the other three. From top to bottom, we have Almost Noir, Designer Purple, and Undercurrent. I've also got a deluxe sample size of Max Zoom Lash Mascara. I've got five full-size MAC pigments. Starting here, we have Naked, Vanilla, Melon, Teal, and Rose. I've also got four MAC pigment samples. Starting here, we have Grape, Golden Olive, Golden Lemon, and Magenta Madness. I've also got the pigment stacks that were promoted in the Spring Color Forecast collection. These two right here are stacked one, and these two right here are stacked two. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the eye part of this video. Now let's move on to the lips. This part of the video I'm going to be featuring lipsticks, lip glosses, tinted lip conditioners, lip liners, etc, etc. So let's get to it. Okay, so these are the three lipsticks that I have that are from the permanent line. Starting here we have Angel, Cream Cup, and Creme de Nude. These four lipsticks are from the Spring Color Forecast collection. Starting here we have Pink Burst, Fresh Salmon, Radicchio, and Bronzilla. These are the two lipsticks I got from the In The Groove collection. Starting here we have Jazzed, and I like it like that. These four lipsticks are from the MAC Viva Glam collection. Starting here we have Viva Glam 1, Viva Glam 5, Viva Glam Gaga, and Viva Glam Cindy. These are the four lipsticks from the Give Me Liberty of London collection. Starting here we have Peach Stock, Blooming Lovely, Ever Hip, and Petals and Peacock. These are the four lipsticks from the To the Beach collection. Starting here we have Beach Bound, Lazy Day, Thrills, and Fun Bathing. These are my four permanent lip glasses. Starting here we have Underage, Love Nectar, Purr, and Viva Glam 6. Now Viva Glam 6 is actually part of the, obviously the Viva Glam line, but it is a permanent gloss. And Love Nectar is actually a luster glass, not a lip gloss. These are my five lip glasses from the Spring Color Forecast collection. Starting here we have Electric Fuchsia, Kumquat, Lavender Wind, Purple Rage, and Gold Dust. These are my four lip glasses from the Give Me Liberty of London collection. Starting here we have Frankly Fresh, Perennial High Style, English Accents, and A Different Groove. These are my three lip glasses from the To The Beach collection. Starting here we have Easy Lounger, Flurry of Fun, and Splashing. These are my four cream sheen glasses that I have. Starting from the top we have Boy Bait, Richer Lusher, Going Casual, and Chillin'. The top two are in the permanent collection, and the bottom two were from the In the Groove collection. These are my three super glasses. Starting here, we have Fab Frenzy, Tunnel of Love, and Cherry Electric. These are my three MAC Dare to Wear lip glasses. Starting here, we have Gimme That, So Bad, and Wind Me Up. All three of these were promoted in the recent Dare to Wear collection. These are my four lip jellies that I have. All four of these were promoted in the Mac and Lily Land collection. Starting here we have Resort Life, Shift to Pink, Lush and Bright, and Preppy. Here are three of my lip liners. From top to bottom we have Naked Liner, Cork, and Burgundy. Here are two of my other lip liners. These are in special packaging because they were from the To The Beach collection. From top to bottom we have Life's a Breeze and Temperature Rising. I've got two of the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Stain Markers. From top to bottom I have Style Setter and Purposefully Red. These are my two tinted lip conditioners. Starting here we have Gentle Coral and Fuchsia Fix. Okay, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. So those were my eye products and my lip products. 
products. Now let's move on to face products. This includes cheek products as in blushes and it also includes just all of her face products as in foundations, powders, uh, various treatments that I have, etc, etc. So let's get to it. Here are my four powder blushes that are in normal packaging. Uh, starting here we have Gingerly, Pink Swoon, Instant Chic, and Full Fuchsia. Gingerly and Pink Swoon are both from the Permanent line. Instant Chic is from pret a -Papier, and Full Fuchsia is from Riveting. Here are my other four powder blushes that are in special packaging. Starting here we have Prim and Proper, Dirty Plum, Getaway Bronze, and Hipness. These two are from the Give Me Liberty of London collection, and these two are from the To the Beach collection. These are my four cream blend blushes from the Mac and Lilyland collection. Starting here, we have So Sweet, So Easy, Optimistic Orange, Joie de Vivre, and Florida. These are my two mineralized blush duos. Both of these are from the In the Groove collection. Starting here, we have Happy Together and Band of Roses. These are two of my blush ombres from the Spring Color Forecast collection. Starting here, we have Azalea Blossom and Ripe Peach. Here are my other two blush ombres. Here is Vintage Grape and Spring Shine. Here are two of my mineralized skin finishes. This one is by Candlelight and this one is Comfort. Here are my other two mineralized skin finishes. This one is Petticoat and this one is Stereo Rose. These are my two beauty powders. Both of these were from the Give Me Liberty of London collection. This one is Shell Pearl and this one is Summer Rose. These are my two cream bronzers from the To The Beach collection. This one is called Beach Bronze and this one is called Weekend. These are my two powder bronzers, also from the To The Beach collection. This one is Golden and this one is Refined Golden. They are in special packaging because they were from the To The Beach collection, but both of these bronzers are in the permanent line as well. Here are my two quote unquote special powders. This is the Pearl Matte Face Powder that was released in the Lilyland collection. And here is the Marine Life Highlight Powder, which I'm sure you guys have heard of. I've got two luster drops as well. This one is Sun Rush, and this one is Pink Rebel. Both of these were from the To The Beach collection. Here is the Bronze Body Oil that was promoted in the To The Beach collection. Here are two of my quote-unquote powder foundations. This is the Studio Fix Powder in NC45 and this is my pressed blot powder in medium dark. This is my all-time favorite powder from MAC ever. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and my shade is medium dark. I've got one MAC concealer. This is my Studio Finish concealer and my shade is NW35. I've also got a bottle of Fix Plus. I've also got two of MAC's serum slash treatments. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Refined Zone Treatment. And this is the MAC Matte Cream. And then lastly for tools, I have the MAC Dual Ended Pencil Sharpener and I have the MAC 182 Kabuki brush. Okay, so that is everything. That is my entire MAC collection. You guys saw it from start to finish, eyes, lips, face, everything that I have to offer from MAC. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys saw anything that you want a further in-depth review on, please feel free to leave me a request. I have no problem fulfilling that for you. And yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Please subscribe up there. It would mean so much to me if you guys subscribed. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!